I now take you to what we call the jewels of the Archdiocese. The jewel of the Archdiocese, today we speak about St. Aloysius School and College. You know, as I said, these are institutions, are the jewels of our Archdiocese, because from long, long time they have been existing, they have borne fruits, and they are the shining examples of the hard work of our priests. So St. Aloysius School is supposed to have started in 1898. And from the humble beginnings of those missionary fathers, what we call the MEP fathers, they had started this school. But it was in the year 19th century, as it were, 1918 or so, Father Brown is the first one who graduated, or rather improved the school, laid the foundations of the school to be from the primary to the high school. Ever since, it has been growing up, and Father Araujo was one of those priests who brought it up, and along with him, the other priests who have followed him, all big stalwarts, Father Coilo, Father Mervyn Coilo, Father Arauj himself, Father Rego, Father Ambrose. These are all the fathers who put together have brought the school to a greater heights. And this year we celebrated, rather we are just still celebrating, we inaugurated the celebration of 125 years last year. And this year, perhaps in December, we will be closing the celebrations of the, these three institutions that are in three different places now, two different places. The Lucius Middle School is in our cathedral campus and just now being looked after by Father, uh, Father Amarnath. And the high school, the PU and the college and the post-graduation is in the, what we call the campus of the St. Lucius College. And there also Father, Father Mahindran is the manager, Sister Sagaya is just the principal of the college and there are so many others who are working together. From humble beginnings of the 125 years ago, we have reached up to this level and it's a great experience for us that this school, college and perhaps the post-graduation also has got, is an institution of the future with a lot of hopes. So therefore, I present this institution as our own jewel of the Archdiocese, which has produced so many fruits, which has got so many alumni who have been the, in the army as commanders, as generals, in the civil service, as the IES officers, the politicians, as doctors, engineers, and so many alumni that bring pride to us. Perhaps I'll have uh, occasion to make reference to it as we celebrate the 125th year in the month of November or December to showcase also those great people who have passed through our institution of St. Lucia School and College. May this inspire many more, not only to join, but also join in our efforts to resurrect the old jewels that are hidden in our archdiocese.